We're here at KubaCon 2018 in Seattle, Washington, and I'm speaking with SnapRoute. Um, can you tell us a little bit about the company and what you're doing here at KubaCon? Yeah, so SnapRoute is the uh, only provider of a network OS that's built on cloud-native principles, right? So we've actually fully containerized the network OS itself and uh, made it run entirely on uh, disaggregated hardware, uh, utilizing you know, containerization, microservices, and things that are you know, from the Cloud Native Compute Foundation, uh, other projects to enable the network OS to kind of live in a Cloud Native uh, environment. And so how do you fit into the Kubernetes ecosystem? So we actually use Kubernetes as our infrastructure. So when you take a uh, network OS, and you break it into containers, you need something to orchestrate and manage those containers. Otherwise, you have to write it yourself. Right. Um, so what we've done is we've actually utilized Kubernetes as the infrastructure uh, for our network OS at its core. So we integrate directly with Kube API and, you know, and Kubelet and kubectl and run it natively so that uh, if you understand those principles and you are part of the cloud native infrastructure, you can use Kubernetes uh, primitives to control the network OS directly on the white box hardware. If you don't, uh, we actually have ways to configure the box using you know, industry standard CLI uh, that people with classically trained networking backgrounds would be comfortable with. Now, is there a specific uh, pain points that you know, your product solves uh, for Kubernetes? Yeah, so for, for Kubernetes, we are really looking at how uh, the networking is evolving inside of Kubernetes. There's a lot of focus on uh, utilizing overlays and technologies to help uh, you know, connect traffic uh, between containers and to provide connectivity at the container level you know, in, in an overall infrastructure. And we see that many of those uh, solutions treat the network as sort of you know, a black box or you know, plumbing and it does everything on top. And this, this is working out well in, in some ways, but it also doesn't address uh, the actual underlying underlay, the, the infrastructure itself, or the uh, performance and security implications that uh, come from integrating fully into the network layer below. So what we're, what we're bringing to Kubernetes is a way to control an entire other part of the infrastructure uh, besides compute and storage with Kubernetes native uh, primitives. So, I mean, there must be other companies doing what you're doing as well. How do you differentiate yourself from them? Right, so there's, there's a couple different uh, ways to look at uh, people that are in this space as well. If you look at disaggregated networking as a whole, um, there are many people solving the solution as sort of the Linux layer, where they're solving it at, at, from an enterprise perspective with a cost play, where they're trying to recreate, uh, you know, like a little version of one of the incumbent bed, bed, uh, one of the incumbent vendors, uh, but utilizing sort of open source software and principles, and, and those are those are all fine. Um, but what they're really doing is they're recreating the monoliths that already exist, right? They're all single uh, single service infrastructures. You know, they use daemons to manage the individual components, but they haven't really spent um, you know the time and the energy to really containerize the network OS and, and provide it in a form of microservices uh, that can be you know, utilized by the operator. And, and really the big difference for the way we approach the problem versus others is we didn't spin out from you know, one of the incumbent vendors. There's, there's, you, know, you, could, you could do all sorts of diagrams and workflows of people that you know, come from one of, the, one of the incumbent network vendors, go off, do a startup, come back in, spin out and do another one. But we're one of the only uh, players out there that have started by operators for operators, right? So we're, we're actually solving the operational issues um, by people that have run data centers at scale and have experienced the pain of waking up at 3 a.m. and not knowing, you know, where, where do I start troubleshooting? You know, what do I implement? So we're, we're really trying to break up the monolith uh, and, and do it from an operator's perspective. And so if you had a crystal ball and you could say, I could see the future, um, where would you see this industry going over the next 12 to 18 months? Yeah, we would like to see more, uh, you know, more integration of other parts of the infrastructure into Kubernetes besides just compute and storage, or providing solutions that are native as opposed to bolt-ons. So, for instance, networking, right? So networking has always been approached from a network-centric point of view, where 
I build the network, then the applications come and live in it. My compute comes and lives in it. My storage comes and lives in it. Where we really see that the infrastructure needs to be holistic, where I'm building out a non-proprietary, you know, non-vendor-specific uh, you know, orchestration layer for my entire infrastructure, and the network is part of that. So instead of having a bolt-on that says, hey, you know, here's my network application, it speaks Kubernetes, and here's a plug-in to look into inside containers and see what they're doing, how about we build the network using Kubernetes natively and using all the tools that uh, are native to Kubernetes instead of you know, having a bolt-on or a translation layer. Right. And so where can people go if they want to find out more information about SnapRoute and uh, what you guys are doing? Yeah, right now we're, uh, we're engaging in betas with customers and uh, we're, you know, we're on SnapRoute.com, we're on LinkedIn, um, and we're on Facebook. But the, the, real, uh, the real fun information and news is going to come out you know, probably uh, late January uh, where we're going to come out with our launch and, and explain to the world what our cloud native network OS looks like how it, how it runs and how uh, you know, operators can use it to uh, understand what can be done with a fully containerized microservices platform uh, at the network OS layer. Well, great. Well, thanks for taking the time to speak with VM Blog, and uh, it was great to talk with you. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to find like-minded folks uh, like you always do at KubeCon. <laughs>